Today we're looking for a, a mountain zebra. If you look behind me, it's going to be a hard, hard, hard day. We walk up the mountain to see if we can find a very nice specimen. And then after that, we're going to see what we can put in the pot. <laughs> Wilson Fontaine hunting safaris, the there's only one way to hunt, the ethical way. Although you have to drive with the game vehicle to different areas in the farm due to its size, a full 71,000 acres, it is only walk and stalk that is allowed. No shooting from the vehicle or hunting at the water holes. Ingo Gladys joined the hunting party on the day because hunting for mountain zebra or better known as the Hartman zebra is no easy task. The animals will see you coming for miles take to the mountains for cover. Wilson Fontaine is since 1938 in the hands of the Gladys family. For 61 years it was a cattle and sheep farm, but for the past 14 years it's an open fence game farm with unbelievable scenic beauty and offers a great hunt. The zebra on the slope of the mountain is unaware of the approaching hunters, but the oryx in the foreground is well aware and ready to set off running, alerting the zebra to do the same, so a long walk around is suggested. The occasional drought makes it impossible to make a living with domestic animals, so farming with desert-adapted wild animals that occur here naturally makes good sense. The farm borders the norm of no of Game Park in this arid semi-desert with an average rainfall of 120 mm per annum. One third of the farm is high granite mountains, 130 million years old, and it offers a spectacular backdrop. The average height is from 900 to 1,200 meters above sea level, with some mountains 1,850 meters high. The rest of the farm is open savanna, few bushes, sloping hills, and dry riverbeds. Still below the radar, the hunters crept closer. Shots over 300 meters in the mountains can be a very tricky affair. Suddenly the herd set off running, trying to climb over one of the granite boulders. Unable to do so, they set off into a bushy riverbed and for a few seconds offers the barbecue hunter an open shot on a stallion. Close but no cigar. It's just crazy. We just walked to the vehicle to get some some water. This massive cobra just on the side just picked his head up. It's crazy. And we're so far from any kind of hospital. That could have been ugly. Sunrise on day three, and once again mountain zebras on the menu for the African barbecue hunter. Apart from the elusive mountain zebra, Wilson Fontaine also have animals like springbok, oryx, clipspringer, stembuck, and a 
good season Kuru and Warthog, as well as over 40 Giraffe. After a few more hours scanning the plains and Musgrave in hand, the hunting party entered another area. And suddenly it was game on with a group of zebras spotted by Simeon. From a rocky ridge, there is now focus on the stallion walking alone, and the cover of the rocks and shooting from above will give the barbecue hunter a clear and open shot. Success at last after three days, the beautiful Hartman Zebra is harvested on Wilson for fame. What a wonderful experience. No wonder most of the customers come again. Because they are hunters and not collectors. They hunt for recreation and to switch off from stress. Knowing that they were born naked and barefoot. And that their last shirt will have no pockets. Barbecue Hunters proudly brought to you by RadressMedia.com, turning your hunt into a motion picture. Minox Optics, visible innovation. Musgrave Rifles, the legend is back. Next Wheel Gear and Ridgeline of New Zealand. By Wolverine, relentless by nature.
Wilson Fame Experience True Namibian Beauty.